final passage today of the transgender medication ban. What is your reaction to getting final passage on that? Well, it's been a lot of hard work, you know, three consecutive years of introducing that bill. And, uh, you know, we're, we're glad that the bill received final passage and is headed to Governor Ivey's desk. And, um, you know, it's about protecting these minors. And it's not about uh, adults, but it's about those minors and about, uh, you know, their, their minds are not fully developed to make these decisions on these medications and surgeries. And that's what the bill is about, to protect minors. Do you, do you believe these minors are making these decisions on their own? Well, we, listen, we, we want to make sure that we protect these kids. There's, there's a lot of reasons, a lot of things we do in the state to make sure that uh, they can't have alcohol, can't have tobacco, can't have vaping. We want to protect them because their minds are not ready and fully developed to make these decisions about long-term, uh, about these long-term decisions. So do you believe these minors are making these decisions about their gender identity on their own? Yeah, yeah, I believe that they are definitely making decisions about, uh, about these transgender issues. Family members say that lawmakers are inserting themselves and saying they know better than parents and teams of doctors. Why do lawmakers know more on this issue? Listen, this is the big issue that we've seen, and we want to make sure that, like I said before, Ms. Kim, uh, we protect these children from making these decisions that can have long-term lasting ramifications. These uh, medications have side effects, and we heard some testimony from a young lady that uh, wished that she had made uh, and, and accepted those cross-sex hormone and uh, puberty blockers and that she regrets those decisions.